You can now automatically lip sync to different characters within one image or video with Design AI. You now also have more control over the timing of your voices and lip sync. So I'm gonna show you exactly how that works as well as the results you can expect when using this tool. As usual, there is a link below if you'd like to check out Design AI for yourself and they're the sponsor of this video. Now I'm gonna show you how this works starting with an image. So I've generated this image using Design AI. Now to add lip sync to both of these characters, I come over here to the lip sync function. Up top, you'll notice there's pick a face image or pick a face video. So these are our options between image and video. Now I'm gonna pick image first and we can actually select the image on our canvas or we can even upload an image up here. So once this box shows up, you can actually choose which faces you wanna animate and you can choose up to two. And if you don't see one, you can actually mark it manually. But for now, I can simply click or click off to toggle it. I'm gonna to click both of these faces and click next. And now you'll see we have our image at the top, but we also have this timeline down here where we can add in the voices of our various characters. So if I go to speaker A and pick a voice, for our wizard, I'm gonna try, see what Adam Stone sounds like. So I hit the play button. The people who are crazy enough to think they can. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just click on that. I think it has a good sound to it. I can also adjust the speed, but I'm gonna just leave it for now. I'm gonna come up and enter some dialogue. So I have here, I could use a drink right now. And once I have that there, I can come down and generate and play my audio. I could use a drink right now. So I think that sounds a little bit comedic, so I'm gonna stick with that. And I'm also gonna select a voice for speaker B. Okay, pick a voice. I might see what James sounds like this time. I must not fear. I think that sounds pretty good again. So now I come up and I enter some dialogue for him. So I have, why don't you use your magic as a question? And again, I hit generate, play audio. Why don't you use your magic? So now I've got two voice tracks, one on top of the other. And what I wanna do is actually move them to place them on the timeline where I want them to sort of go. Now I've got speaker A and speaker B, but I actually think it'd be funny to switch these around. So I have some audio here for the wizard, which is gonna come after the audio from this other fellow down here. So I've lined these up on the timeline. I can also preview. Why don't you use your magic? I could use a drink right now. It's a little too quick, so I'll give a little bit of a space and we'll run with that. So once I'm happy, I come up the top here and I click confirm. And I can come back and adjust the face or the voices so I don't have to stick with what I've done. I can go back into these settings. I'm gonna go off pro mode for now because in order to have two different voices, we need to use pro mode. Normal mode simply won't work. I come down, I hit generate. Why don't you use your magic? I could use a drink right now. As you can see, we've got a nice 720p video and it's actually added a bit of movement to the characters, including a little glance at the end, which I thought was a nice touch. The way it actually moves the characters straight from the image is pretty impressive, but the background doesn't really change. So what if we wanted to make things a little bit more dynamic? Now, if we want things to be a little bit more animated, we may want to create a video and then use lip sync on that. So I have this image here again, and this time I'm gonna go over to AI video. I'm gonna go with Kling 2.1. I'm gonna generate from Canvas and I'm gonna add a prompt. Now the prompt is a bit too long to show entirely here. So I'm gonna click on this little button here. So you can see the prompt in which I've described some subtle camera movement, some other movement in the background. Pause and read it if you wanna go in depth. But otherwise I'm gonna go with that prompt and I'm gonna generate my starter video. And now we have a shot that's just a little bit more dynamic than before. So let's add our lip sync. So on the right over here, I click lip sync under our video. And straight away, we can choose the faces from our video, click next. And again, I use the same process to add in those same voices and dialogue that we used on the image. And now we can take those audio clips and move them into position and even check against the video as to where they land. So I think the timing is pretty good either side of them facing each other. So I'm gonna run with that and then we get our results. I could use a drink right now. Why don't you use your magic? And that has worked pretty well and looks a lot more dynamic. However, I do feel like the talking is not as good as it is on the image. However, it would be a lot harder to apply it to a video since things are constantly moving. Now I wanna show you some tips to get some better results with this tool because things aren't perfect. However, this is a great step in the right direction and these little issues are gonna smooth out over time. My first tip is to consider all of the options for generating your start frame when it comes to videos. So I've used face match to generate a picture of me and a bunch of stuff in the background. And I've been able to frame this up exactly how I want it to create my video. And from that frame, I generated this video right here, which I thought would be good for a quick little test. And that leads to my next tip, which is you can upload your own audio recording. So we go through that same process as before when we're going to add lip sync to our video. We choose the face, we click next. And from there, we come down and we pick our voice. Then we come up to upload audio. 
and I simply drag a WAV file that I recorded on my computer. Most computers have a basic sort of microphone to WAV recorder. So I've uploaded my WAV file and you can see it right here. I can even trim it back a little bit and remove some of the silence, test it against the video. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to confirm. And then I'm gonna come down and hit generate to see what our results are like. I'm excited, today I get to go home. Now that didn't turn out too bad. However, there is an issue that the resolution around the mouth is actually pretty low. But when using the image to lip sync, I'm excited, today I get to go home. It's much sharper, however, I lose the animation in the background. Although it does have this nice cool laser animation in the background. So then I re-edited and regenerated this video of me a little bit smaller on the camera. I'm excited, today I get to go home. And because the face is smaller, it seems to get rid of that issue. And so to fix this, I recommend using image to lip sync for close-ups, which makes a lot of sense because if you have a close-up, you probably don't want people focusing on the background anyway. And if you're gonna use video to lip sync, just make the faces a little bit smaller. And that way you can have a little bit more happening in the scene. And we can always edit the clips together. I'm excited, today I get to go home. You can see how a little bit of editing there has made that just sort of work better. Now also don't forget that you can use things like the insert character tool to add more than one of your actual AI generated characters into a scene. So I added a design AI preset character of Anna into this scene, just so that way we could actually have two separate voices happening and mix my uploaded voice with a computer generated one. And again, I position the voices where I think they're gonna fit best in the clip. And this is what I get. I'm excited, today I get to go home. Not anymore. As you can see, you can have a lot of fun with this, trying out different characters and getting different results. But another tip is to try and add your lip sync when the characters are facing primarily forward, as when they turn sideways, sometimes you don't quite get the result you're after. But because you can move that audio around in the timeline, that's not too hard if you give yourself a little bit of wiggle room on your video. Another thing to consider when you're actually automating your speech is actually grammar and capitals, because it does make a big difference to how things are pronounced. So I have here, I could use a drink right now, just nice and plain. And when I generate that, I could use a drink right now. It sounds pretty straight. But even if I add a simple comma, like I could use a drink, comma, what I get is, I could use a drink right now. And that changes the way it's pronounced. But even furthermore, add exclamation mark on the end. I could use a drink right now. And you can see how there's that inflection in his voice. Now keep in mind, you can also do things like add in like a question mark. I could use a drink right now. And it turns it into a question, but even adding an exclamation mark and another question mark to sort of get a little bit creative and urgent with it, it does this. I could use a drink right now. And it adds a little bit of panic into the voice. But also if we try simply converting it to caps, so we have, I could use a drink, comma, and then right now in capitals. I could use a drink right now. It just adds a little bit more to the pronunciation of that. Put it all in capitals, add three exclamation marks. I could use a drink right now. And you can see how we're able to sort of alter the delivery by using different types of grammar, capitals, commas, and things like that in order to really nail down the performance of the AI generated voices. And if the face can't be detected straight away, you can mark the faces manually like I've done with this particular image here. Hi there, welcome to the Cowboy Cat YouTube channel. And they've greatly improved lip sync with cartoons and animals. I can't see what you're talking about. Look over there. And I experimented with a few different styles and I was pretty happy with the results. Oh man, that smells good. That smell is you. I thought it was cool the dog's mouths actually moved like real dog's mouths. And if you want to generate a video that has sound, you can also go straight to Google VO3 and generate a video that has sound that you can add some dialogue to. So I generated this video. But then added some basic dialogue to it. I think the lights really add to the place. It looks really good at night. I can now turn them on or off with my watch, see? So there really are a bunch of different ways you can use this feature. And definitely it's a lot of fun to play with to see what you can come up with, especially when you start recording your own voices. The fact you have face match allows you to put your own face onto some of these images and videos. So I definitely recommend having a bit of a play with it to see what you can come up with. So I highly recommend if you wanna check out Design AI, there's a link in the description, but otherwise that is the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.